Hello everyone, Frosty76201 here with another G.I. Joe review today. Uh, we're going to do another vintage figure. Uh, this is the 1985 Flint. Uh, this is my big screw you Duke, basically. Uh, this is the guy who led my Joes back in the day. Uh, I like him, I mean, because this is, you know, when you're a little boy, everyone has that fictional character they want to, you know, character they want to grow up to be like, and Frankly, I already look like I already kind of looked like the guy, and you know, if I shave my beard, I can actually pull off a good Flint costume in Halloween time comes around. Um, as opposed to the blonde hair, blue, uh, blue eyed poster boy Duke, which we've seen in the movie in the old cartoon. Uh, this character is kind of like a darker leader, um, and not just in his ha hair and eye color. Um, he, his character description is says that he's a Rhodes Scholar turned Army Ranger turned Warrant Officer. Speaks several different languages and is uh, experienced in combat warfare. He's also the leader of the Tiger Force uh, subteam, which is basically search, rescue behind enemy lines, and steal enemy equipment. So, I mean, all, all that right there kind of makes the character look a little more badass. But we'll get right into the figure review itself. Uh, he's going to have, of course, the standard uh, articulation. And this, the 1985 line, also introduces the um, the ball and socket heads. Uh, before, they had just been like, um, it's kind of hard to describe, but basically uh, in the old ones, there was just like a plastic pin that was attached to the bottom of the head. These are an actual ball socket kind of thing going on in the torso. Uh, however, our head movement is still restricted, so we can't do a full 360. It's got this incredibly detailed molded... Uh, chest piece with a oh, green uh, web gear with a brown belt and uh, if you can see that those are shotgun shells that he keeps with him um, brown gloves green wristwatch and the standard green and brown BDU pants and these look like the, the kind of like a black combat boots with a green canvas material if I had to make a guess. It's kind of like, like my old army boots from back when uh, I was serving. Uh, that looks like a 45 automatic that is molded to his leg and not removable. I wish. And, you know, like I said, standard swivel arm battle grip, elbows, cannot move his wrists, O-ring, T-bar in the crotch, allowing him to do splits, single joint at the knee, cannot move his ankles. That is kind of a newer addition. Uh, to me, like I said, this this is the guy who led my Joes. I am really hoping to see if they bring this character to life in the sequel to the live-action movie series. And um, if they do, cast Chris Evans, uh, the guy who played the Human Torch. I think he'd be awesome for that younger cast look. However, if they were going for an older Flint, Tom Jane, Tom Jane, Tom Jane. There you go. There's your Flint right there. Um, you know, my favorite figure as a kid, uh, my favorite figure as an adult. This guy is friggin' awesome. Uh, he comes with a few accessories. This is the backpack. This is standard. You know, to make sure it looks like that, it has the small canteen, uh, a grenade, and also, which is really cool about this figure, is this the way they have it uh, set up on the molding is it fits completely snug to his back. It is actually form fitted for him. So, I mean, that's perfect. It pegs right in there. He also comes with a small single barrel and what I would guess to be a 12 gauge Remington shotgun. Uh, is the original one will be molded in green like this, this olive drab kind of green. So make sure that when you get one, it comes with this one. If it's a black one, that's actually the wrong shotgun because that's actually Tiger Force which splits um, shotgun. The original one come with a olive drab green. Uh, my particular one comes with, with a what is called a battle stand. This one's clear. Uh, you can buy these separately from uh, many uh, online retailers. Uh, Smalljoes.com sells them. So does Joe Armory and Joe Parts. So, I mean, these are great for display purposes. Just kind of a heads up. Uh, this is not standard with the figure. Um, but it's great. It just pegs right into his foot and uh, is great for displaying. Um, other than that, like I said, just a fantastic figure. And if you're going to have a leader for your Joe display... Make it Flint.
I'm sorry. To me, Duke is just the guy that's supposed to get captured and killed or used as a hostage. He's not really my Joe leader. You know, he's supposed to be a first sergeant and thusly a dust jockey. This guy was out in the field. So, and to me, it's all about the characters, really. I mean, if I were into it just for the toys, these things would still be in the box. And I, you know, when I was a little kid, I played with my toys. So, um, just another quick GIG review. Everyone have a very wonderful day. And I will be doing a, a third one here in a little bit.